Yay, Dolores is back. She's not sick. She got a bunch of water, it looks like. Holy crap. And a med kit. Ooh, Dolores, I love you. God, that's why I married you. Welcome back, everybody, to 60 Seconds. I'm IGP, and today we're going to be digging up this old game to give it one more go. For those who don't know, I've actually played a lot of this game in the past, and you guys seem to have enjoyed it. Why not give it another shot? Because I actually never beat it since the suitcase DLC came out. Now, the game hasn't been updated all that much with new content. It's been fixed and optimized as much as possible. But we're going to go ahead and give it one more go. And if you guys enjoy the game or enjoy me playing it, be sure to let me know by leaving a like and comment down below. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to go with Sarbamba because that's the hardest one. I believe I beat it with Fat Man. I don't know if I did with Sarbamba yet. I might have even beat it. I don't remember doing it, but I remember when I first beat this game. It was uh, it was very exciting. Anyway, the full atomic experience scavenge around your house for supplies and then survive the post-apocalypse in your fallout shelter. Yes, let's begin the adventure. There's been like six aliens flying by. So I don't know necessarily what I need to get, how many changes there have been. I do know there's the radio book and uh, health kit in here, so I definitely want to get all those. And you just grab the stuff. Some of them take up more than one, one slot. I'm pretty sure I don't need to explain this to you guys. Most of you know about, uh, about this game. Okay, so there's an axe I'm eventually going to want. Now, if I could find the map, that would be boss. Let me get Timmy. And then I think, yeah. And then I need to get that bug spray, maybe. Let me look for the map first. I don't have much uh, in terms of water. I need a flashlight. Uh, deck of cards, I guess. Nah. Water, food. There's the map. I think it only takes up one slot, so let's grab that. I got Timmy. I need to find uh, Mary Jane. Where is she at? Where is my daughter? I can get the gas mask real quick. I might have to leave the daughter behind. I don't know where she is. Is my daughter... Is, did she disappear? Oh, no. She's right there. I don't have enough time. Sorry, Mary Jane. Damn it. Sorry, Mary Jane. Dude, what kind of father... <laughs> what kind of father am I? Oh, my God. Just... <laughs> that damn tuba. Poor Mary Jane. I wonder what it's going to say. I don't think I've ever left behind accidentally a member. I think I've intentionally left my entire family behind before. Because just to see what it would be like with just Ted, but... <laughs> Anyway, day one, all of us made it to the shelter, almost. All we can do now is start thinking of creative ways to serve our canned soup. We don't have that much food and no one's complaining yet, but even canned soup might become an extravagant dish quite soon. There's just barely enough water for everyone. We will have to ration it strictly. Okay, so here we go. I do know five days of water. Um, if you have the Boy Scout book, I think that was the mistake I made before. A lot of you guys have been saying, and I'm not sure if this has been updated to it, but if you don't have the Boy Scout book, you need water more frequently and food. I guess the Boy Scout book would help you figure out how to ration properly uh, to make sure you survive for longer, obviously. Surviving down here is no walk in the park. It won't get easier. We're hopeful this will blow over soon and life will be back to what it used to be or else we might face dangers we've never dreamt of. Yeah, look at that thing. Bring, bring, bring. Oh, the classic 60 seconds music. Okay, let's see. Day two, we're trying our best to remain calm. The situation we're in is far from normal and we might not ever get used to it. We hope the help comes soon. Like the good scout he is, Timmy is making the best out of the situation. He even seems cheerful. He seems confused to me. Everything seems okay with Dolores. No new problems with troubling Ted this fine morning. Perfect. Everybody is fine. Seven days without food, five days without water. I think I remember this properly. It might be eight days with food, but I think I've died doing that before. So, we're going to send uh, Timmy out tomorrow. Playing a game or two might be a good way to relieve the mood and take our minds off the problems of today and tomorrow. And hey, playing games is good for you, so why not give it a try every now and then? I would if I brought cards or checkered board. I, I got all the... I was so prioritized on getting the stuff we need for survival, I didn't really think about, like, sanity, you know? Keeping sane. I, I, I feel like it's a little bit harder to go insane like that, but, you know, who knows? Day three. We played I Spy, and it was pretty fun for the first three minutes. After that, everyone got bored with the letter W. Still haven't figured out what that necessarily means. I mean, there's walls, technically, but it's a rounded thing, so... Where does the wall start and where does it end? And what, what becomes the ceiling? So how can you really call it a wall? I mean, you could say water too, but... How about getting Timmy something to drink? He's not looking well. Dolores not lasting long with water. You'll be fine. Two more days. We're preparing for this expedition. Yes, we will send Timmy. We don't... Uh, we'll have him take the gas mask, obviously. So he can survive. And uh, once the radiation clears up, I think after a certain amount of days, I don't remember what it was, like 20 or something. It might even be sooner than that. Once it tells us it's cleared up, we can go out without the gas mask, but for right now, we need it. 
Timmy went to the wasteland on day four. We don't know what we'll do if he doesn't come back. Equipment is the gas mask. Those not survive without water. You will be fine. Hear that? No, because no one is talking. Not a word in hours. None at all. We can't just stare and stare at the walls. We need to do something about this. Let's listen to the radio. Should have been one of our priorities. Four days in, five days in now, we're just turning on the radio to listen to see if there's any emergency broadcast, but we're dumb. Day five. Ah, how fortunate we took the radio with us. We could probably listen to some music. It's open music here, don't they? Yeah, that's what they choose to listen to. Okay, you guys get water today. No problem. No problem. Poor Mary Jane. They didn't say anything about Mary Jane. It makes me think like she's the Meg of this family. Like everyone just hates her. And even the developers don't care if you left her behind because they're like, we would have done it too. There been some radio chatter about airdrops in the military. It's about time. All those taxes had to pay for a crate or two for us, right? So we can't, we can't head out. We don't have a gas mask because Timmy took it. Timmy's ass took it. Timmy. Timmy. Could have used a shirt. Day six, it was too dangerous to go out there without any protection, so we decided to stay indoors and listen to the radio. The static is so relaxing. Today's been fine for Dolores thus far. This morning has been calm for Ted. Everyone's doing fine. Once you start saying you're hungry, I'll feed you. A few more hours of coughing and we'll get used to it. Our ventilation fans have halted and no fresh air seems to be circulating through the shelter. We have to fix it before we suffocate like rats trapped by professional and very cruel rat catcher. Okay, let's put uh, let's put the Bo Boy Scout book to use because that fixes everything and it's reusable. Day seven. Okay, Timmy is not he look he's looking tired. We got cards. To be when did we get cards? Did he bring back cards? Day seven. Using the handbook to research vent maintenance seemed like a fair idea. Boy Scout book for vents? We figured if it's full of pointers on how to fix things, it must have a chapter on nuclear shelter air filtration systems. Before we could even check, we were invaded by a group of angry mutant insects which flew out of that cursed vent. Their stings hurt like hell and it seemed to give us a fever, so we're sick now. Are we? Oh yeah, he's sick. Fantastic. We have a med kit, so it's all good. We were so free for Timmy, but he came back from the wasteland and safe with us now. Cool. Gas mask came back. Sweet. The nuke did most of the destructive work, but gasoline reserves under the nearby gas station blew up as well. All that was left of the place was a crippled cashier's booth and remains of several cars. Someone might have thought 60 seconds was enough for a gas refill. <laughs> nice. And a quick getaway. They thought wrong. So is he, that was both, for those who may not know, that was both a reference to this game and Gone in 60 Seconds, the movie with Nick Cage. There was an abandoned truck in line for the gas pump. We immediately recognized the logo of a well-known company on its side. Yep, the canned soup company. <laughs> A few water bottles were scattered around in the catcher's booth. None of the explosions damaged them. Thought it was funny how the pipe shadow got burned into the wall. We got a water, soup, and bug spray. We stumbled upon a half-eaten sandwich in the catcher's booth and some bug spray. Cool. Did he eat the sandwich at least? Because I don't want to have to feed him my soup. A deck of cards was lying about just outside the booth. After picking them up and counting them out, the only thing missing were three sixes. Playable enough. Timmy is very hungry. Okay, so we got to feed Timmy. Uh, and then we're gonna feed everybody. Everybody gets food today. Everybody gets their rations of food And we're gonna go ahead and use that the med kit for Ted because we don't want him to get sick and die We'll send Dolores out because she's useless. I'm just kidding. It's terrible Timmy has been sitting there just staring into the space is something wrong. Maybe it would be good a little chat with it Yeah, probably good to have a little chat with him because he probably saw some shit You know, it's it's the nuclear fallout. We're talking about like people hanging and you know, pe people are brutes and savages and barbarians. Day eight. Even a word or two may be enough to brighten someone's mood. Timmy seems to be better now. Cool. He looks still pretty tired. He's very hungry. So there's one thing he needs. Water for Dolores. Yeah, we'll get water eventually. Uh, he's still hungry, so I'm gonna give him some food until he's better. If you make a choice for today's expedition, that will be her. And you will take the gas mask. Because we don't want you getting all that radiation down your lungs. Day nine. <laughs> oh, see if we had if we had Mary Jane, we could possibly get the mutant Mary Jane and she would be so awesome to have. Just cause just to say that we had it. <laughs> Day nine. Timmy should eat something. You can't leave Timmy out water. How come he's still hungry? He's on our way to the surface. Let's hope she'll make it back. Ted looks like a foot in grave right now. He's fine. Why are you still hungry, dude? I'm gonna wait one day. I gave you two servings of soup in two days. You should not be hungry. That's enough, okay? Calm down, fatty. Day 10, it's hard to not worry considering our current situation. Some days we're still struggling to deal with the shelter life, but we can't lose hope. Timmy's in terrible shape. We need to give him water now. Ted looks like he's got one foot in the grave. Yeah, everybody needs water, so deal with it. We decided to peek outside for just a minute to see the store around the corner and standing. We we're about to step out, we heard a growl in darkness. Yes, we do know that that is Pancake the dog. Uh, and I wasted my med kit, so eventually I may not even get him unless we can fix it in the meantime. I wish there was a way to make the Boy Scout book a thing. We wear bandits roaming the wasteland looking for easy and defenseless prey. 
Day 11, we decided to check what's coming for us with our flashlight. Guess what? It was dog! The poor thing seemed tired, so we let it stay with us for the night. The next morning, we opened the door to let it out. It hasn't returned. Hopefully, it will come back later. No news is good news. There's nothing new going on with Timmy. Not complaining. Good. So he's not hungry anymore. He's still a little tired, but I think that's fine. It's high time we stopped wondering about what's going on and started asking questions, or at least listened to some reasonable answers. So how about tuning to the radio station and learning a thing or two about the brave new world? Oh yeah. Always good. That's what you want to listen to. Yay, Dolores is back. She's not sick. She got a bunch of water, it looks like. Holy crap. And a med kit! Ooh, Dolores, I love you. God, that's why I married you. Now we can get pancake. <laughs> See, we have we missed one family member, we'll bring one else, one more in. Day 12, we were able to get a weak signal and tap into government's emergency announcement service, and guess what? Great news! The fall outside has mostly gone. It should be much safer to travel the surface now. Sweet, so I don't have to take the gas mask, uh, which it didn't get damaged either, so we could take it if we need to, but I think I'll save that for when they require it for something else. Ooh, fly! Can I catch it? Damn it, I missed. For all our daily bread and butter needs, we always went to the small store next to Barber's. We found it intact. We found a shelf with a big sign that read everything for zero ninety-nine dollars. What? Zero point ninety-nine? Zero comma ninety-nine? I guess that's meant to be a dot. I don't know. The only thing left were bottles of water, huh? Expensive. So we got four waters. There was a restroom in the back. Inside we found a dead body next to a first aid box. Guess it didn't help. Nope. Timmy is very hungry. Uh, let's see. He's not eating for a while. Okay, we'll do one more day without food and we should be okay. Uh, cause that would be, yeah, seven days, so two more days without food, you guys should be fine. Uh, we'll prep, and we'll send, uh, Ted out, because why not? As long as we have food and water, we can stay locked in, but we'll have to leave eventually. It would be good to head straight to safety instead of getting ourselves into more trouble, if that's even possible in the situation. Our hope is that our brave soldiers will come to rescue us and take us to some well-hidden, well-stocked government shelter. To me, it's comics about those that so you know they must exist. All we need to do is make contact with the military. Let's make it happen, Captain. Yeah, there we go. Day 13. I might give them food now. I don't know. I think I'll do a 7-6 rotation. So then day 20, I'll give them, and then 26, I'll give them more food. I think I'll do that, just to be safe, because when they're tired, I don't know if that affects their hunger. And We don't need Timmy running away, okay? We made contact. The military is out there, and they're coming for us. All we need to do is wait patiently. The soldier with the boring voice was very specific about this. Help is on the way. We just need to wait for further instructions to keep our radio in working order. And keep our radio in working order. Timmy's very hungry. Yeah, everybody's going to get some food. Two days, you'll get uh, some water. So we're running out of food. We definitely need to find some. Today's expedition will be Ted, and you will take the axe to protect yourself. Let's see what else actually you can take. The map, maybe. No, I don't want you ruining the map. Let's just take the axe. Let's just take the axe. Because I, I don't think I need that, per se, to get Pancake. I might. I might have to fight someone. I shouldn't have done that. God, that was stupid. Timmy's in terrible shape now. We need to give him water. Uh, we'll to eat something. Yeah, you've already eaten them. That's because they're tired. Uh, we'll hope to be back soon. Equipment is that. Okay, cool. So, no. One more day for water. It's not easy to be calm in these circumstances. Hopefully, we will keep our peace or else. We might need to act like wolves. Survival the fittest and all. All right, day 15. It's hard not to worry considering our current situation. Some days we're still struggling to deal with the shelter life. Okay. Terrible shape. We need to give him water now. Yep, everybody gets water. We got plenty of it. I should have just given it to him. But I don't want to reset because then it's going to get confusing with numbers. Scratching the door could mean only one thing. Our dog friend is back. Yay. Let's give him an entire can of soup because we can afford that. Jesus. Is it going to be an entire can? Yep, an entire can of soup. Ted, you better come back with something healthy, man. The dog was back to his formal self in under an hour. We don't know what they put in that soup, but man, that stuff is good. We decided the dog needed a name, and the right name for him was Pancake. Come here, Pancake. Who's a good boy? Pancake stayed around for a while, but was gone the next morning. We can bet he will be back. Despite the dire circumstances and all the trouble we are going through, Timmy is being very brave. Dolores has not eaten for a while. You'll be okay, I'm pretty sure, because we have one ration of food left. Dolores has been awful silent. Is there anything we can do to help her? Spray her in the face with poison. That's a good idea. That's what I would do if, if I was Ted and still there. Okay, he's sick, so we gotta waste the med kit on you. No, I'm not doing that. We'll use the bug spray eventually. Giving Dolores book seemed like a good idea, but she was too tired and too sad to read anything. We hope she gets better soon. He returned from his voyage. The axe is fine, but we think someone followed us. Great. Great. Going to Supermarket is not as easy as it used to be. Now that raiders have taken over the place, we are, they are running plunder operations in the area. It is more difficult than ever. We sensed the numbers left on guard duty were limited. It seemed possible to sneak around them and retrieve some sort of loot. It's worth a shot. Blah, blah, blah. Four soup! Mmm! Mmm! 
God, these people are awesome. You got sick for it. Can't say that that's worth it, dude. So much water, too. And a gun! Holy crap. The bandits kept some of their guns in a staff room. The good thing about that, none of the raiders were near it. But we were. Sweet! So now we have to defend. We can actually get pancake. That'd be awesome. Thor's not eating for a while. Ted's stomach is rumbling. Okay, so everybody gets food. Everybody gets food. Um, for now. And we'll do it again on day 20. I guess. We didn't expect to get a phone call so soon. Oh, nobody can go. Come on. You're too tired to go? Come on. This is our livelihood. Now he's better. Now Timmy's better. Now he's better. What a douche. What a douche canoe. Day 18. It was just way too dangerous to just randomly run to a ringing phone in the middle of a radioactive ghost town. That's not the decision I made. I would have. What you should be saying is that everyone was too tired to do it. How about giving Timmy something to drink? He's not looking well. What the hell? How are you guys... Whatever. Get out of here. Okay, so we're gonna send Timmy to the wasteland again. Everything is shaking. Oh, my... F I need the radio. I don't need the flashlight anymore. And I don't need the gas mask anymore. So I'm going to grab something before everything smashed to pieces. Yeah. Okay. No, the giant jug of water on the ground isn't gonna break at all. Which I would be so willing to sacrifice right now. Because that's broken and that's tore apart. That's just stupid. Earthquake or not, nothing is going to stand between us and our daily dose of radio static. We were able to grab it before it could fall down and get smashed. Something else might be broken, but we won't know until we've cleaned this place up. Timmy's in terrible shape. We need to give him water now. Let's just give everybody water. Let's just give everybody water. I don't want to take any chances of people dying. You're going to go outside and you're going to take... We need the axe. Um, I would tell you to take the Boy Scout book, but that may not be a good idea. Just take the axe. We have the gun to protect. We have the gun to protect the dog. Okay, we have the gun to protect Pancake when he comes back, and we have the med kit, which I'm gonna let Ted die. If Ted dies, I'm fine. I don't care. I want Pancake. I don't care about anything else right now but Pancake. Timmy went out to the wasteland. We don't know what he'll do or what we'll do if he doesn't come back. He he'll be dead if he doesn't come back. Uh, Ted is hungry. Yeah, everybody everybody should be eating. Uh, let's go ahead and reset all of it. Let's go ahead and reset all of it. That's fine. It's hard being down here, living here. We need to make the best of it, or else we might find ourselves in even more trouble. I need to get her better. She needs to wake up. I'm assuming giving her more food and water is going to help, but I guess you got to do that consistently every day to make her feel better. Being stuck in such a tiny shelter would make anyone a bit apathetic. We need to stay calm and wait the rescue. Oh, wait the rescue. Surely they're coming for us, right? Relatively calm. Ted is hungry. Ted is always hungry. Just keep eating. Hey, it's Pancake! Our friend is back, but he seems very nervous, and he keeps barking and jumping. When we opened the door, he rushed out, only to come back a moment later and bark at us again. Maybe we should follow him. What gear should we take? Definitely the gun. I do know that I need the gun. Let's follow him, see what happens. Nobody's wounded. He's really dirty. He's got shivers, it looks like. The old saying goes, better safe than sorry. The rifle seems to be the right choice of gear for venturing into the unknown. We didn't expect to run into trigger-happy folk who started shooting before asking questions. Gunshots were enough to send Pancake running. We got back safely, but he didn't show up. Better safe than sorry might not be the best choice of words if you got shot. And that's what happened. One of those thugs had a good aim. Who got shot? Dolores was hurt. Fuck me. So Dolores is hurt, of course, game. You would choose Dolores to get hurt because Ted's already sick and has been sick. And you know I need this med kit in order to help Pancake. I don't give a fuck about you guys. I need Pancake, okay? So, shine your boots and hoist it. Yeah, of course, of course. We're not gonna get rescued. I'm not even, it's Sarbamba. I feel like that's what happens, is like in Sarbamba, it's programmed to fuck with you. Like it give you literally no options. If you make one mo wrong move in the beginning, there goes the airplane. One wrong move in the beginning, you're screwed for the rest of the game. Day 23, the signal has to wait. Besides, do they even know how much flashlight batteries cost? Especially in this economy. Especially after it was wiped out. The horses drink sometimes. Everybody needs water. Whatever. Just I'm just going to give it to you because we're going to die anyway. Trasky's of ours getting disgusting. Blah, 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 blah. Let's use the book. The book is going to help clear out the trash cans. Sanitation is very important if you're a Boy Scout. Um, so Ted's going to die soon. He seems very bad. We dodged a bullet this time. Ha <laughs> ha. No, we didn't. That is, if a bullet was a huge hairy and had eight legs and a glowing head. Okay. Uh, life is hard. For the, we hope it stays. Okay, nothing new. Everyone's fine. Cool. We heard a knock at the door, but this morning we held our breath in fear, but we soon heard children's voices coming from outside. They offer a checkered board for a map. No, I don't want any of that. I need the map. Are you kidding me? I should have probably given the map to, um, to Timmy. So she's wounded. Is she dying, though? Is she dying? I don't even know. Day 25. All the girls are very brave to walk around the wasteland like that. Sadly, they didn't have anything of interest to us. So we decided to decline their offer. Excuse me. They wished us a nice day and left. 
It's fine as well. Blah, blah, blah. Hasn't recovered from his illness yet. Yeah, does he do it on his own? This is terrible. We can't sleep, but we got any problems. Yeah, you know what? You're, you're trying so hard to get me to get rid of that freaking med kit. Okay, she's gone crazy now. She is definitely crazy. Timmy's back, but he's sick. Everybody's sick. That's fine. I just want Pancake to show up because I love that dog. Bravely ignoring our symptoms, we tried to get at least an hour or two of sleep. No luck, we're even more tired than we were, and there are other problems that we need to face soon. Let's just hope our yawning will be enough to scare riders away, or raiders away, riders, away for, or, away or save us from radiation sickness. We were so afraid for Timmy, but he's back, he's brought the axe, someone probably followed us, a pile of car wrecks revealed that we stumbled across a big parking lot. Almost no car survived the blast wave, but we went between the wrecks to explore anyways. We got two water. Sweet picnic table, cool. Oh, we got a suitcase. Very good. It seems like uh, in one of the trunks we found a, a leather suitcase. It's almost untouched. We're a bit disappointed there was nothing inside, but the suitcase alone will do just fine. So now the suitcase, guys, is, as part of the suitcase DLC means if you equip that, you can take three other items uh, with you because you can put it in the suitcase. We also got two food. That's good. Timmy's very hungry. I wish we could stockpile med kits, man. Everybody should drink something soon. Yeah, you know what? Just drink. Just drink, everyone's hungry too. We got tons of food and water, no problem. We'll set up an expedition just in case someone decides to wake up tomorrow. Hear that noise is coming from below. This is probably the right time to check out that manhole in the corner. Yeah, that would be a good time to do that. We went down with our hearts in our throats, but nothing happened. We found a tiny passage blocked. The noises were gone after a while. Hopefully it will stay that way. Timmy should eat something. The Lord's is clearly going into the madness, but you should stop it, no problems. Okay, Timmy should eat. Let him eat, because he was out for a long time. It's about time we chose someone. Nobody's ready to go. Suitcase is pointless at this point. Come back, Pancake, please. Dude, Ted is so dead. He is on the brink of death. Okay, day 28. Timmy's very hungry. Anything new? Doing all right. Okay, Timmy, keep eating. Just keep eating until you're better, please. We thought we calls. Yeah. Uh-oh. Who's sick? Okay. Now she's sick. Fantastic. Everyone is sick. And he's crazy, too. Perfect. Perfect timing, guys. This is way too dangerous to... Yeah, I get it. But tell me something to drink. He's not looking well. Does not last well. Water. Everybody will wait till tomorrow for water. You know what? Forget it. I don't even care. We got four extra ones. We'll set up an expedition, but I don't think anybody's going to be ready. Our supplies are scarce and our morale is low. You can almost smell the desperation in the shelter. We're pretty sure there's a small group of survivors nearby, mostly old folks from their retirement home. It should be hard to borrow some of their supplies. They're old anyway, and we might need them more. Yeah. Yep. Let's do it. Uh-oh. Someone, someone's dead. Nope. Oh, there's a blood stain on the wall. <laughs> What is that? Did we get anything? It looks like we got food. We're not richer with some supplies. Yeah, never mention this whole thing again. Tim seems okay. He's quite ill. No problems for anybody else. Damn. Nobody can go outside. Well, we raided an old elderly home. That's, uh... Ted is dead. <laughs> Ted is so dead. Ted is so dead. Very good. Okay, day 31. Ted was sick for far too long, and he was too weak to keep going on. He passed away in his sleep. Yeah, he's sleeping upright, <laughs> going nuts. Timmy is looking very pale. That's not good. No doctors. Dan, pretty bad. Yeah, everybody's bad. I just want pancake, guys. Come on. We'll set up an expedition. A group of people dressed in green pajamas knocking our hatches. Something, not something that we anticipated. Yet this is exactly what happened. Furthermore, they insisted they are merry men. You rich and good for the poor, very poor. No, get the hell out. I don't trust you, man. I need my med kit, okay? I need that. Okay, no one else is dead. Ted, we're gonna move his body or something? What's down here? Like, what's behind here? Day 32, we didn't answer those peculiar calls and kept the door locked until noises outside faded away. We're not exactly sure we want those people to come back. They sounded harmless enough, but can harmless people be trusted in those troubled times? They might be worse than those who don't seem harmless at all. Apple juice right now, water, really love to eat something, so just take it all. You water, eat, go. It's a good way to go outside, yeah, yeah. She's so dead. I think that's it, right? If she dies, that's it, because Timmy can't survive. You have to have one parent alive, I think. Timmy's very hungry to not survive in water. Okay. Timmy's very hungry. Not certain. Yeah, we'll set up an expedition just in case. Military's transmitting again. Yay. If we could just fix the flashlights. Nope. Well, she's still alive. That's good. <laughs> Radio's broken. Fantastic. Signal has to wait besides the, the place quiet shelter was disturbed today when Dolores suddenly jumped out of her seat and started crushing cursing at the radio, excuse me. We begged her to sit down and relax. The radio wasn't even on. She destroyed it. Only then she calmly went back to her seat with a triumphant look on her face. She accomplished something. Thank you for ruining all of our chances. Despite the dire circumstances and all the trouble he's going on, Timmy is very brave. 
Yeah, Dolores has gone nuts. She's probably gonna kill Timmy or something. The end? Nope. Damn, she is still alive. Alive and kicking. Come on, Pancake, where are you? Okay, everybody just gets food and water. Just reset. Day 35, good. We have plenty of distant relatives, but none of them is Auntie Ada. She lives in this country. There's a good chance she's still configuring her cow counting machine and not worrying about, we put some photos in the book. I guess that will help us not go crazy. But she's already sick. It's pretty much over. Nope, it didn't help. Nothing helped. <laughs> cool. We did it. The photo we were looking for was stuck between the pages of the scout handbook. What a lucky coincidence. It's a bit blurry, but it's still a wonderful surprise. Miss sickness might get worse. It's not doing well. Yep. Yep. Pretty much done. This has to be the end. Come on. Nope. Jeez. She is persistent. Timmy is not dying either. They won't let the kids die. They'll just leave if they're too sick. Timmy needs an extra blanket. He's shivering all the time. Full control of her mind. We're not sure the monster is inhabiting it. Yeah. I don't want to. I just want. I put the thing. I don't care. I just want pancake. Don't do this to me. I want pancake. Damn it. <laughs> Uh, as long as we're safe, we can stay down here and some water for Timmy. It's water. Yeah, just take it, dude. We're not gonna need all this. There's only two people left. Maybe for the dog. When the dog gets here, eventually. Please let this be an event. Day 39, still no dog. Fantastic. Best behavior, how long would it last? Is still quite ill. Uh, we'll set up an expedition. What was that? A rat? Rats are usually smaller than cats and double-tailed. Let the thing get our supplies. Use the axe. The end. Come on. Seriously? Oh, there goes Timmy. <laughs> Fuck. Well, it's definitely done now. This has to be the last day. Uh, Timmy was very sick and there was nothing we could have done to make it better. He understood it and probably decided it was better off far away from such irresponsible parents. He left and never came back. Our cans are saved. Too bad for the hairy mutant. He's dead. Okay. Timmy's health uh, is not improved. Okay. Taking the chance still. I'm not going to cure her. She's already crazy anyway. She's probably going to leave. Day 41. Are you kidding me? What is she surviving on? Water. Okay, if I just keep giving you water and food, I wonder if it'll prolong the, the inevitable death of your sickness. During the night, we heard some suspicious sounds coming from behind our door. When we poked in the morning, we saw a leather suitcase. It had no address, but we're pretty sure... Yeah, open it. I don't care. It's gonna be a bomb and explode. Right? Is that what happens? No! What did we get? What did we get? We got nothing. More food? Maybe? Damn it, the gift was booby trapped. There was nothing inside besides some junk as soon as it exploded. Yeah, is anybody hurt? Uh, nope. I think we're fine. I mean, she's already injured. She looks like she might have gotten injured more. Can you please die? Thank you. Jesus. Christ. <laughs> this would have been the day that the dog came to. Ah, everybody's dead. Everybody is dead. Dolores suffered with her injuries for far too long when the infection. Oh, she died from the infection, not even being sick? That must be the worst combination ever. Everyone's dead. Cool. Cool. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. You perished. Yeah. Sorbama's pretty hard. This game is very hard. With all the new stuff, it does make it a little bit difficult. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this game and want to see me play some more, please let me know by leaving a like and comment down below. I'll be happy to continue it and do some challenges, which also you guys are more than welcome to post in the comment section below. If you made it this far, comment Ted's dead in the comment section below. And, uh... Let me know what challenges you would like to see. Anyway, thanks again for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Like, share, favorite, and subscribe. I will see you guys in the next video. I love you all. Bye-bye.